I want to talk triggers with you. Come on. Well, James, I want to talk triggers with you. Come on. Well, James, I want to talk triggers with you. Come on. Well, James, I want to talk triggers with you. Come on. Hey, what's going on, you guys? I just wanted to make a quick video to see if I'm seeing things correctly, if I'm interpreting things correctly, because, okay, at, no, at first, you know, I wanted to back off, see what was going on. The more it's, the more time goes on, the more suspicious everything becomes. There's all these connections. You have things that are on these um, corporate property, cement property, and it seems like uh, there shouldn't be anything except the cement factory on that property. There shouldn't be any homeless people on this property okay um and then you have this transvestite that comes out and starts saying like i built it which just made me way more suspect um the thing that you were seeing they literally have this septic tank that's like buried in the ground i mean look at hold on look at right here this thing is like buried in the ground the guy was saying that the drones couldn't see it it was uh like as if it was constructed to not be seen from up top or around the area okay i don't know about you but even a smaller version of me couldn't get into this place. This uh, was only made for very small people, okay? I wouldn't make something where I had to, I mean, I wouldn't squeeze through this tire to get into this thing, to get out of the heat from Arizona in the middle of the desert. What kind of sense does that make? And then, okay, what kind of sense does that make? I mean, this shit is, I'm, I'm starting to go like, what is going on? Okay, then Alex Jones does a 180, all right, three days be prior to, he has uh, the Brothmans and talking about Semex and all this other stuff. And then they take down that article and then they're like, oh, there's nothing going on. Nothing going on. Meanwhile, they're finding skulls. All right. They're finding skulls. Uh, they're finding skulls. So they're, they're finding human body parts. All right. I don't know how far away this was from the child trafficking camp, but I mean, just more and more sketchy. Okay. Uh, let me, let me just go. What, what I, let me explain my process of what I was seeing, okay? Because not everybody's going to see the same things and whatever. So we get this, very sketchy, okay? Then the police don't come for days, right? This is all going on the same. The police aren't coming, and you're and, and meanwhile they're finding skulls. They're finding. I mean, look at you got these things. You got these straps on these uh, on these trees. What else would you? People are like, ah, they keep the bears away. I mean, I don't even have time for to even hear that again. Oh yeah, the coyotes. They put the, that's for the food. I mean, are you serious? I can't believe somebody said that with a straight face. Yeah, the coyotes. That's for food. You put the food in the trees to keep the coyotes away. Uh, meanwhile, you have what seems to be like a, a signal. You have the, the chain running down where somebody could let somebody know that's like raping or doing whatever they're doing with all these different ways to tie up a human being that like strap their legs and arms to this tree. Okay? And meanwhile, that's what they do. The coyotes do this. This isn't like just like some one-off thing. They actually do this. So when people are saying, oh, that's for coyotes and trees. I mean, it really pisses me off that people um, are brainwashed or have like places like Snopes. Oh, but Snopes said this and really be. I mean, really? And then, and then, and then part of my anger is is thinking that some of these some, some of these comments and some of this other stuff, I always put it as a human being. I really have, and, and I know this, that a lot of them probably aren't human beings. They're, they're um, AI bots that are there to shift the narrative. But I've seen truthers. If you can't see this, th there's nothing else that... I'm not saying that there, 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 isn't an, uh, there isn't operations to infiltrate, but I'm just going off the evidence, okay? Off the evidence that I've seen that is taken with a camera phone, I'm saying that there's shady stuff going on, okay? So, I mean, not only do we have hair dye and all these uh, underground camps and uh, what seems to be like a camp to house kids as they either go into Mexico or up into the United States, uh, just like a, a one spot along the way, a corridor, if you will. But it looks like they uh, were being housed there against their will, considering that they have these like uh, these outposts that are guarding over them. You know, that seems like somebody there would sit over and then they've constructed these places to hold. I couldn't get into this. I couldn't get into this. So you, ha you have that transvestite that's saying like, oh, I built it. It's to get out of the heat. That man that's dressed as a woman that reminds me of Buffalo Bill could not squeeze his ass into that. I'd like to see a grown man squeeze into this and then fall into this septic tank to get out of the heat in the middle of the desert. I mean, give me a break. And then it keeps getting shadier and shadier and shadier. So there, okay. Then all of a sudden, 
the cops get involved. And I'm saying the cops get involved. They start blocking off the place. Not to do an investigation, but all of a sudden, you see the cops start surrounding and, and uh, doing all this crap, right? And then you start to see these fires. You start to see multiple fires break out. And people are going like, there's nothing to see here. Coyotes in the trees. They're dig a homeless camp. Fires. Nothing to do with nothing. And then what threw me over the edge is you have this Sawyer dude come out and be like, there's multiple police reports. And da, 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 we're not involved. Watch my Netflix show. And I'm just like, oh, my God, what the hell is going on? I'm like, I got this from you, pal. I got this from your channel. Now he's like, oh, nothing to do with anything. We got police reports. And I understand. Look, to me, it seems like he got snowed by the police department. He got snowed. And since they uh, are integrated in with teaching law enforcement, all this, what would they do if they come up against a uh, department that's 100% corrupt from inside and out? Probably something like this. To me, he seemed like he was reading. He uh, did a lot of edits in between the video, and then they, they put in fades. It seemed very sketchy. Very sketchy. You know, I just say what I'm feeling. Sketchy is all hell. Sketchy is all hell. This newest video from Craig Sawyer. Sketchy is all hell. And then let's not forget the fires. Multiple spots. Okay? So all of a sudden, and then he's going like, oh, there was investigations. Uh, were there investigations or were there paperwork? Because uh, we all know what's going on with paperwork. And, oh, he, I mean, he, he started flipping through uh, reports. But they all seem like three pieces of paper stapled together. He's like, oh, we have nine reports. It looks like there was uh, the, 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 the nine phony, like, papered over crap is what that seems like. And then can we talk about the fires that are breaking up? Can we talk about the bulldozers that are coming to bulldoze over the evidence? How stupid do they think we are? Sick motherfuckers. Dude. I just am trying to still find out who's on our side. Who's on the side of truth? Why did InfoWars make a, a 180? I stuck up for them in the past. I can't stick up for them in this situation. What you think? I'm out of here. Bye-bye. This sounds completely and utterly satanic to me. Well, I was going to make a video on this, but I figured he could say it way better than me. He does way better research. So, yeah, spread this far and wide. Why is, our, why is nobody talking about this?